how to survey a plot of land. First question, why you should survey a plot of land? Behind me, I have this plot of land. Many things can happen on this plot of land. For example, this is your land and you want to know exactly where your property lines are or where to place your fence or even you want to build your own house whatsoever. But also in the construction world, maybe I need to excavate a big trench here. Maybe I need to uh, work out where I have to put my uh, cables. So, first thing hereafter, what do we exactly need to survey a plot of land? On the ground you can see I have my carbon rod. So, let me first make sure that this one is ready. Then within the bag, what do I find? In this case I have a GNS receiver. This GNS receiver is the Amlet Reach RS2. Also, I need a tablet holder. Otherwise, I cannot attach my tablet and I have to hold it in my hands. I have a rocket tablet, that's our Applos armor. So, I'll press on, otherwise it doesn't function, of course. Also very important, make sure you're noticed by anybody around here. Well, on this plot, it's not that difficult, so not, many, not much traffic is here. I attached, I will attach on top of the rod the Reach Amlet RS2. My tablet is already starting up. It's a little bit wet. Connect it to the tablet holder. Yes, it is on. Oh, get my glasses on, otherwise I cannot read it. Ready. So. Get the rod and I will attach the tablet holder to the carbon rod. I'll just put a little bit higher because it's easier for me to explain in this video. So what you see here is just the hardware, but you need also different things. First thing of all and most important one is of course the Apple Survey Wizard. The surveying software. Without the surveying software, I cannot survey this plot of land so and the second thing is you need correction signal the RTK okay now we have to start up the complete set first of all I'm going to press on on the Amlet Reach R2 sorry I have to do like this because of the Sun yes the lights are burning ah, the lights are going on press on on the tablet click on the icon Applos survey wizard so then once you're in the software go to the connection screen press connect then again press connect it says a connection has been made with the Bluetooth device which means it is connected with the reach RS2 as you can see in the screen it says SPS and now it's going to search the RTK So I'm going to zoom in on the screen and as you hear on the Amlet Recharge 2 it says bleep bleep. So after it says bleep bleep you can now start surveying a plot of land. So now I am going to survey this area of a plot of land and I'm especially curious how big the area is. So first of all, which I always tell you, everything you survey has a name. So I go to the layer manager and I press on add and I'm call this a plot of land. Plot of land. I'm going to select the color, in this case because it's green, green. Press OK, press OK again, 
And now, once you press next to the layer manager, it says plot of land. So everything I'm going to survey now is called the layer name plot of land. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to survey this duck, but I'm going to survey this plot of land. First of all, I'm going to press dot. Now I'm going to walk, oh my god, all the way to the back. <laughs> Our office. And I am on the end of this, my plot of land. Now I'm going to press oh, polyline. Next corner. I'm going to press polyline again. Going back. <laughs> See, happy surveyor. A survey a day keeps the doctor away. Da la la la. So. And now I'm going to press polygon. As we can see the results, an area is already been marked in my software. This is how you survey a plot of land. And now of course, we are curious how much square meter this is. So go to the menu and select calculate. Go to the menu on top and say area. Select, of course, the plot of land and press OK. The area of the selected surface is 344 square meters. So, of course, after uh, surveying my plot of land, I also have to save the data because I want to use it again. Maybe for stakeout. So, go to the menu and select save. I want to save as, as a DXF and I select the folder. In this case I selected the download folder in my tablet. Select name. I will call it plot of land. Press OK. And I also want to send it immediately. Select the paper plane, <laughs> press OK, as you can see the file has been saved and immediately it pops up different types of uh, uh, Gmail or any Outlook and I will select in this case Gmail. Once I select Gmail I can see it here and I press on send. So what happens now? This survey has been sent to my email address and I already saved it on the tablet as well. So, what can we do actually with this data we collected by surveying a plot of land? Well, for example, I want to sell this plot of land. Now I exactly know what the square meters of my plot of land is. Or for example, maybe future-wise, I want to build a house on my plot of land. So now I, have also, I already have the basic data I need to make sure a house can fit somewhere in this plot of land. But there are many, many more items you can think of why this data is not only important but how you can use it. Maybe you want to dig a pond here or maybe I know now where I have to put my fence or maybe the entrance to this plot. 
So many items you can think of why surveying a plot of land can be very important. Some of these plots of lands also know a boundary, maybe a fence should be there. So in the next video, left or right of me, you can watch how to survey a fence or a property line.